On a night of despair, a woman finds herself alone on the road after her car is stolen. A stranger, with a kind gaze and an offer of help, stops to get her out of there. Three years later, a plea on television reveals that the unknown man who rescued her is, in fact, someone with a deep connection to her own life. Upon discovering the truth, she faces a new opportunity to repay the help she received and finds herself involved in a destiny greater than she ever imagined. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Olivia sighed deeply as she drove down the deserted road, feeling the weight of the day on her shoulders. The sun was setting on the horizon, painting the sky with shades of orange and pink, but she barely noticed the beauty around her. Her thoughts were focused on the bills to pay, the stressful job, and the constant sensation that something was missing in her life. At 35 years old, Olivia had an apparently perfect life in the eyes of others. Married for 10 years to a caring man, she had a stable job as a manager at a local store and lived in a comfortable house in a small town where everyone knew each other. However, deep down she felt empty and unsatisfied. As she drove, Olivia reflected on how she had reached this point. She had always been an ambitious person, dreaming of great achievements and adventures. But somehow life had taken her down a different path. She had married young, taken on responsibilities early, and before she knew it, she was trapped in a routine that seemed to drain all her energy and enthusiasm. Her thoughts were abruptly interrupted when she noticed a car rapidly approaching from behind. Before she could react, the vehicle overtook her and stopped abruptly in front of her, forcing her to brake. Two hooded men jumped out of the car, one of them brandishing a weapon. Get out of the car now, one of them shouted, pointing the weapon at Olivia. With her heart racing and her hands trembling, Olivia complied. She watched helplessly as the men got into her car and sped away, leaving her alone on the dark and deserted road. Tears of fear and frustration streamed down Olivia's face as she walked along the roadside, trying to process what had just happened. Why did this have to happen to me? She murmured to herself, kicking stones along the way. As if my life wasn't hard enough already. After walking for about half an hour, Olivia saw headlights approaching. A car slowed down and stopped next to her. The driver, a gentle-looking man in his forties, rolled down the window. Are you all right, ma'am? He asked with genuine concern in his voice. Olivia hesitated for a moment, still shaken by the earlier incident. But something in the man's expression made her feel that she could trust him. My car was stolen, she replied, her voice trembling slightly. I was on my way home and... My God, how terrible, exclaimed the man. Please, let me help you. I can take you to the nearest police station to file a report. Olivia nodded, grateful for the offer, but still cautious. She got into the car briefly introducing herself. Nice to meet you, Olivia. I'm Ethan, the man responded with a reassuring smile. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. It must have been very frightening. As they drove, Ethan tried to calm Olivia with some light conversation. He talked about the small town where he lived not far from there, about his job as a high school teacher, and about his ten-year-old son, Noah. Gradually, Olivia began to feel more relaxed, there was something about Ethan's calm and gentle manner that made her feel safe. She murmured, expressing how the theft of her car had left her scared and frustrated. Sometimes life catches us off guard, forcing us to deal with the unexpected, Ethan reflected in a thoughtful tone. But I believe that in every experience, whether good or bad, there's a lesson waiting to be learned. His words echoed in Olivia's mind as they arrived at the police station, she thanked Ethan profusely for his help. There's no need to thank me, Ethan replied with a warm smile. I hope things get better for you, Olivia. Remember, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. With those words, Ethan bid farewell and left, leaving Olivia with a sense of gratitude and a new perspective on her situation. At the police station, Olivia filed a report and called her husband, Lucas. He arrived in a few minutes, visibly worried. Olivia, my love, are you okay? He asked, hugging her tightly. I was so scared when you called me. Thank God nothing happened to you. That's what matters. 
The genuine concern in Lucas's eyes touched Olivia deeply. She realised that amid all her frustrations and dissatisfactions, she had neglected the love and support she had at home. I'm fine, Lucas, she replied, feeling emotional. Just a little shaken. Lucas held her hands between his. The car, the things that were stolen, none of that matters. What matters is that you're safe. We can deal with everything else together. At that moment, Olivia felt a wave of gratitude for having Lucas by her side. Maybe her life wasn't as bad as she thought. Maybe she just needed to change her perspective. Everything became clear to Olivia. The true essence of life was not in the worries she carried, but in the simple and essential things. Health, the presence of those who loved her, and life itself. She realised that her fears and anxieties which once seemed so overwhelming, were in fact small problems without the weight she had attributed to them. For a while, Olivia had been coming home after work always in a bad mood, carrying the day's stress and accumulated frustrations. Lucas, her husband, had become the involuntary target of this internal turmoil. She would take out her dissatisfaction on him without realising that she was pushing away the very person who cared most about her. Now, Looking at life from a new perspective, Olivia realised how unfair this was, both to Lucas and to herself. But the days that followed were difficult for Olivia. She had to deal with the insurance bureaucracy, find a new car, and overcome the fear that the assault had left. However, something had changed within her. Ethan's words about learning from every experience, and Lucas's loving reaction, made her reflect on her life in a new way. Olivia began to make small changes in her routine. She started to dedicate more time to hobbies she had abandoned, such as painting and gardening. Gradually, she rediscovered the pleasure in the small things of everyday life. Her relationship with Lucas also improved as she opened up more about her feelings and dreams. Olivia had found a new balance. She still faced challenges and moments of doubt, but she had learned to deal with them in a more positive way. Three years after the incident on the road on a quiet Sunday afternoon, Olivia was organising some old boxes in her attic. Among dusty photos and forgotten memories, she found a family album she hadn't seen in years. Sitting on the attic floor, Olivia began to flip through the album, smiling as she saw familiar faces and happy moments from the past. Suddenly she stopped at a photo that took her breath away, it was a picture of a family picnic from many years ago. And there, among the smiling children, was a face she recognised immediately. Ethan, the man who had helped her on the road three years ago. Confused and intrigued, Olivia examined the photo more closely. Yes, it was definitely Ethan, younger but unmistakable. She turned the photo over and saw a note. Annual Family Picnic, 1990. Below there was a list of names including Ethan Thompson. The revelation struck Olivia like a lightning bolt. Ethan wasn't just a kind stranger who had helped her in a moment of need. He was her distant cousin, part of a family she barely knew. Their families were close in the past but due to some conflicts whose details had been lost over time, they had drifted apart. Part of Ethan's family had moved to another city and as the years went by, they lost touch. This discovery left Olivia pensive. She pondered the coincidences of life and how fate had brought her back, in touch with a forgotten part of her family, in a time of need. She felt grateful once again for Ethan's kindness that day and regretted not keeping in touch with him after the incident. That night, Olivia was especially emotional and tired after the discovery in the attic. She decided to relax a bit and, against her usual habit, turned on the TV in the living room. She was about to change the channel to watch a movie when a news story caught her attention. On the screen, Olivia saw a familiar face. It was Ethan looking older and more tired than she remembered. He was making an emotional appeal, asking for help to find a compatible bone marrow donor for his son, Noah. My son Noah is only 13 years old and is battling an aggressive form of leukaemia, Ethan said, his voice choked with emotion. He urgently needs a bone marrow transplant, but so far we haven't found a compatible donor. Please, if you can, get tested for compatibility. 
You could save my son's life. Olivia felt her heart tighten. The happy and healthy boy that Ethan had mentioned during that car ride three years ago was now fighting for his life. She remembered how Ethan had spoken with so much love and pride about Noah and how that conversation had helped her out of her own state of self-pity. Without hesitation, Olivia wrote down the contact number displayed on the screen, feeling a pang of hope mixed with anxiety. The next day, she called the indicated hospital and offered to take the compatibility test. Although she mentioned her connection with Ethan's family, she knew the chances of being compatible were slim, but there was an urgent need to try, as if something greater was at stake. The following weeks were a whirlwind of emotions. Olivia went through the tests, trying to keep her expectations in check, but the idea of being the person who could save Noah haunted her every day. Every time her phone rang, her heart raced, only to be disappointed by routine calls. The wait turned into a silent torture as she tried to balance her daily responsibilities with the growing internal tension. Then a month later, when the phone finally rang displaying the hospital's number, Olivia felt like time had stopped. She answered with trembling hands, her heart pounding in her chest like a drum. On the other end of the line, the calm and controlled voice of a nurse brought news that changed everything. Ms Olivia, we have good news. Your results show that you are a compatible donor for Noah Thompson. We would like to know if you are still willing to proceed with the donation. For a moment, Olivia was silent, the nurse's words echoing in her mind. Tears of relief, mingled with disbelief, streamed down her face. Yes, of course, she replied, her voice choked with emotion. The reality of the situation finally hit her. She had the power to save a life. The days that followed were marked by a mixture of relief and pressure. Olivia underwent more tests and received guidance about the procedure, while Lucas, her husband, remained by her side, offering unwavering support. He held her hand during moments of uncertainty, admiring her courage and the decision to put someone else's life above her own fears. Finally, the day of the donation arrived. At the hospital, Olivia reunited with Ethan and the shock on his face when he recognised her revealed the emotional weight of the moment. He was visibly exhausted, but his eyes shone with a mixture of gratitude and disbelief. Olivia? He stammered, his voice faltering. I... I can't believe it's you. Olivia smiled, her heart overflowing with emotions. How could I forget you, Ethan? You came into my life when I needed it the most. Now it's my turn to return the favour. Ethan hugged her tightly, unable to hold back the tears. Thank you, he whispered, his voice breaking with emotion. You have no idea what this means to us. The donation process was intense, but Olivia felt at peace, knowing she was doing something that truly mattered. During her recovery, eagerly waiting for news about Noah, each day felt like an eternity. When she was finally allowed to visit him, she found the boy surrounded by machines but with a weak smile full of gratitude. So you're my heroine, Noah said, his voice fragile, but his eyes shinning with hope. Olivia held his hand, feeling the strength of the bond they had created. We're in this together, Noah. You're braver than you think. In the months that followed, Olivia closely monitored Noah's recovery while she and Ethan strengthened their family bonds, transforming what began as a tragedy into a renewal of faith and hope. The families, once distant, now gathered regularly, celebrating the second chance that life had offered them. For Olivia, the experience was a turning point. She rediscovered the meaning of her own life, realising that despite the difficulties and routine, there was beauty and purpose in each day. Gratitude for the simple things and the people around her became her new way of living, and she began to seek ways to give back what she had received, believing that there is always something greater at work, even in the darkest moments. A year after the transplant, the families gathered to celebrate Noah's birthday and his successful recovery. Sitting at the table, observing the laughter and joy around her, Olivia reflected on the incredible journey she had lived. Ethan approached her, 
holding two glasses of champagne. A toast, he proposed, handing a glass to Olivia. To what shall we toast? she asked, smiling. To life, Ethan replied, looking caringly at Noah, who was playing with other children in the garden. To the miracles that happen when we least expect them, and to the people who come into our lives at the right moment. Olivia raised her glass, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. As the glasses clinked, Olivia felt a peace she hadn't experienced in a long time. She understood that, even in the most difficult and inexplicable moments, there was a larger plan at play. Every experience, every encounter, every challenge had shaped who she was and had brought her to that moment. In that moment, surrounded by family and friends, with the sound of Noah's laughter in the background, Olivia finally grasped the true lesson of her journey. Life, with all its surprises and twists, was a precious gift. And each day was a new opportunity to make a difference, to love and to be grateful. As she gazed at the starry sky that night, Olivia smiled, feeling at peace with her past and hopeful for the future. She knew that no matter what life had in store for her, she would be ready to face it with courage, compassion and an open heart for the wonders that each new day might bring. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.